Well, I'll show you what I'm carrying. I got my police issued radio. This is what everyone's issued in patrol. On top of that, we're, this is the one we've been using today for the exercise and it's been in the works for the last three years. It's the uh, Homeland uh, radio. So this one has communications to the dispatch and has the capabilities of getting multi agencies and jurisdictions on one frequency. And while that's taking place, being on the Marine unit, we're also carrying a VHF radio. So we're probably the only unit would actually have right now with this unit is the three radios. So this would take, once everything's set in place, this would take place of all three of them. So I can just select channels if I need support on land, with land patrol on Canadian assets, or if there's an emergency on the waterways, then we have the VHF frequency that deals with law enforcement, search and rescue, both Canadian and US. And then this deals with anything from law enforcement, border patrol, Canadian customs, everybody involved dealing down the international waterway. This would take place of three radios. Our issue on the water is uh, communication. When there's a breakdown, meaning uh, time. Time on the water is, is very uh, is critical. When there's uh, someone in the water, drowning, emergency, anything on land that we can get to from water base. Uh, when we're communicating from Canadian dispatching, then it broadcasts over to US dispatching, then you have to deal with Homeland Security, trying to figure out where the resources are. I pick up the radio, call the, the statewide channel two, and they will let me know who's available, at broadcast, see what the resources are, and then working both sides of the border, we can figure out what resources and available units in the area to coordinate an emergency response.